what, 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 what? Okay, so hello everyone. Otis is back, and as you can see, he is so excited. He is so excited to be back because he was on punishment, but now he's not on punishment, and he is very happy to be here, and we're happy to have him back. <laughs> okay, he's, he's happy. Uh, yeah, Otis, he's getting better. He's getting better. Okay, so what are we talking about today? What are we talking about today? Well, you know, I wanted to address a couple of things from my last video, some of the comments. Um, you know, I keep getting people saying that I'm copying my channel off of Lady C. I'm just trying to get people to watch my channel because w with a dog or whatever. Uh, excuse me, go back to my very first video. I'm not copying anybody. And Otis has always been a part of the program. It was a gradual thing because he kept getting in my shots when I was filming my videos. And you know what I said, what the heck, just, just sit here with me while I do this. So if you're gonna make a comment, know what you're talking about. And also that dog, dog ownership is very new for me. And I do, I get allergic to uh, the, the skin of the dog. It's very itchy for me. It's just like so many things people don't know. And they just say things that just irritate me. It just, it's like, just, just check yourself, okay? Check yourself. Okay, so anyway, what are we talking about today? I'm finally going to be addressing my whole video around J-Lo and what is happening with her and how this is what Megan is putting herself in. She is setting herself up for failure as what we are seeing that is actually happening in real time with J-Lo on TikTok. There's so much to compare between Megan and J-Lo and their celebrity and you know, why they just are having issues right now, especially J-Lo, because we have a long trajectory of history to follow with J-Lo. We can see it better, but it's almost like, well, you can see what is happening to J-Lo. You'll be like, okay, this is what's going to happen to you, Megan. Take note. That's what we're going to talk about. So let's get into it. This is the whole thing that I want to say around uh, J-Lo, right? Mr. Otis, yes, 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 J-Lo and everything that is going on with her um, and why we're seeing this downfall, so to speak, of J-Lo. And I, I just want to show you why I think I found a comparison between these two. Although you may look and think, well, wait a minute, J-Lo is talented. J-Lo has been around and yes, and that's what we're going to talk about. Okay, so let's just go to the fact that J-Lo got started in the business when she was much younger. She was a fly girl on that show. And this is how she got her started. Then she ended up being the uh, being cast as Selena in her first film debut. J-Lo's been around for a while. And she's got her start when she was much younger. She's evolved into acting, doing many wonderful great hits. She's a hard worker. I saw her halftime show documentary. I was inspired. Her her whole, um, the thing that she did with the girl, the other Shakira was really good. I mean, I don't really have any problem with J-Lo. I've always really liked her but only because I respect her hard work. I respect somebody who came from nothing and was able to build something from nothing just because they had the, the, uh, the, the want, the desire, the drive, the grit to just get it done. I mean, who, who doesn't respect that? And so I've always liked J-Lo, but I think what has happened is, and I'm just watching and observing what is happening with J-Lo. I really don't have an opinion one way because I don't really have a, anything negative to say about J-Lo. But what I see happening to her right now makes me want to have an opinion because I'm like, you know what, that is what's going to happen to Megan. What I'm seeing. And that's what we're seeing right now. So, so. Basically, uh, J-Lo's current downfall fall is showing her to be someone who is not relatable. She's gotten this very diva-like attitude. She has this ego project with this, with this documentary, this, this tour, this album, and this movie that she has with Amazon Prime. And it, this is called This Is Me dot 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 now. And you look at it and she's never really had anything that she's created that was her artistic debut of so much. And it's almost like you are putting so much work on your shoulders when you don't have to. She went to all these different streaming agencies and she did. She wanted them to 
some you know support this adventure that she had with this new album look at me now and everyone was like you know what no this is not going to be good you know this is not something that we want to invest in and, and, and j-lo she didn't want to listen she didn't want to listen and she said well you know what i'm going to put up the 20 million dollars and i am going to fund it myself because i believe in this i i i want to do this and i'm going to make it happen right otis Yes, and she's like, I'm going to make this happen. And, and that was her first problem. She did not want to listen. You know why? Because, see, when you have that much success, you get a big head. Like what Megan already has. So this is why what we're seeing with J-Lo, this is what Megan is looking forward to happening to her. It's already happening, but she's going to really get the downfall of it. No streaming company wanted to give her the money for this project. And then she put all of her own money into it and it has bombed. She has these ticket sales that are really going down in price because they were way overpriced before. And this movie, she wanted to be relatable through the documentary of this film. And, you know, they say she was talking about, you know, you know, you know, with her hair. She had her hair all ruffled up. You know, you know, I, you know, this reminds me of when I was a 16 year old girl in the Bronx. I was in the Bronx, you know, running around, you know, cared in the world. And, you know, like she's just trying to be relatable and people are mocking her on TikTok. And it's it's almost like, women, you people just don't relate to you like you think they do anymore because you, you have a big head now. You're so egotistical, you're unrelatable and you don't want to listen to people when they tell you don't do that. Even when I was watching the documentary, all of these celebrities that had these cameos were like, why am I here? What is this? They didn't even understand the movie that she was trying to portray. Um, I could kind of see what she was trying to do. It just did not work. She she thought she had the art art the artistic integrity of her own opinion to to be successful but she didn't okay and these are like a lot of the flaws that we see that megan is trying to create in real time right now and if megan knew anything if she could just step outside of her big head she could see oh uh, look at what's happened in j-lo i better not do that but you know what she won't do it because we know Megan is not able to listen and comprehend common sense. She just can't. And so why she cannot comprehend common sense? What are we going to do, folks? Let me go get what I need to do. Hold on one second, Otis. All right. Otis is going to get his popcorn. I'm going to get my popcorn. We're going to sit here and watch you, Miss Megan, try to try to make a fool of yourself and try to figure it out. Just go ahead, Megan, try to figure it out, girl, because we watching. And we're like, what you going to do? What you going to do, right? Okay, so we got that figured out, right? And, and other things that JLO has done that is starting to come out, because what we have now is the, we have social media. We have this birth of information that is finally starting to see the downfall of celebrity culture. It's coming out. Things that were always behind the scenes, hidden from people. They were just insider secrets, open secrets within the industry. Now, all of this information is coming out to the whole world because everyone can get online and, and, and create a show and expose and say things. So people that have worked with JLo, people that have had experiences with her in normal settings at a restaurant or whenever she's done normal everyday things, they can see her attitude. And now people can see she's not a very nice person. She's got an ego. She's, she's done things to everyday people, hardworking people who are just trying to pay their bills and people don't like it. So she's being exposed as a nasty, egotistical, no good for nothing heifer. <laughs> okay. So this is why she is starting to be exposed. Not only that, folks, but the insiders are talking about how she has stolen songs from other artists. Artists who have put in hard work. Artists who have sung up backup vocals and choruses where uh, J-Lo's voice was not even heard, but you hear the voice of these really hardworking uh, artists that are trying to break it into the industry. And J-Lo has stolen their artistic work. When you're a multimillionaire and you steal artistic work from very hardworking people who are trying to make it, who are struggling, and this is how you look at celebrities and you think you're, you are so beyond the pale. You are so 
consumed with your your ego that you don't have sympathy for people the, the common working man and there were talks about JLo when she was doing some shoot in the Bronx they had to get a double ganger because she didn't want to go there like she's even distancing herself from her own upbringing of where she came from in the Bronx uh, trying to use it in her documentary, you know, to be relatable. And it's like all this information has consumed people to say, look, we don't like you. We are falling out of like of you, Miss Woman J-Lo. Basically, social media has exposed J-Lo. They have exposed her in a way that we never would have seen her before. And so this is how it, this relates to Meghan Markle, because everything that is the cause of J-Lo's downfall are all the qualities and traits of a Meghan Markle. Meghan is entering this superstardom era later in life. Now, I know some of you would differ with me when I say superstardom, but she has name recognition. And even if you don't know her name, you've seen her because you could say, oh, Prince Harry's wife. <laughs> OK, so we can't deny Meghan that she has that kind of uh, celebrity of recognition. She's become infamous. She's become at a level that she never would have become had she not married Harry. So we will give her that, right? She's not young like J-Lo, but the other thing is, is Megan doesn't have the talent, the sustainability. See, J-Lo, she was young and she had some talent to help her get to where she is. Megan doesn't have either of those. Megan doesn't have either of those. Megan doesn't have talent and she don't have youth on her side. So she's already at the losing end of this game in which she is trying to propel herself into. OK, facts, folks. That's a fact. And now Megan has in real time social media against her. I mean, like myself and others, we are able to garner momentum around the, the negativity of Megan's behavior to cause her a little bit of sweat. <laughs> she's like oh they talking about me what they say uh -uh, I don't like that and it can it, it is definitely having an effect on her career because she is in a position where she can't just go hire a PR firm and get all this wonderful publicity and no one else knows and we have to you know okay drink the Kool-Aid and see what's coming out there about her and accept it no, people have social media and all the backlash that Megan gets and all the criticism that she gets has to try to counter the, the positive PR that Megan pays for out there. So that is against her. Essentially, her ego is exposed. It's raw. Right there in front of us for us all to see it. We can see something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. And that's when the, the majority of the people that normally would have maybe 10 years earlier fallen for this positive PR are not going to fall for it now because the celebrity culture of egotistical I'm better than you is dead. You can no longer be that kind of a person and people not know it and have an opinion about you that you just might not like. And that's what's happening. And so Megan is on this this trajectory to try to get out there and and stand next to Harry and be the one that gets the celebrity limelight with this new streaming deal with Netflix and all the things that she is trying to do. But she won't succeed. She is at the she is at the very end of JLo's career starting where JLo is ending her career. Because everything Megan does is going to be scrutinized. Not only that, but she has yes people around her. She won't listen to people just like J-Lo didn't listen to people and why she had to fund her own projects with her own $20 million. And just a side note about J-Lo funding her own project with $20 million. I don't feel sorry for her because you got $20 million to just blow. <laughs> okay, I don't feel sorry for you. You got $20 million to just go throw to the wind. Girl, you're going to be just fine. So, so live in your misery, fill in your funk stank, and just get on with life. Because guess what? You're going to be just fine. You're going to pay your bills. You're going to get by just fine and dandy. Okay, I just wanted to say that. But, you know, Megan is at this point in life trying to set herself out at a losing end it's almost like you know you're already 20 feet deep with no scuba gear 
with no floaties, with no flippers. Like you don't have anything and you're trying to climb up and swim up out to the surface of air and superstardom where you're just happy and smiling. No, you are struggling at the depths at the bottom of the ocean trying to make your way to the top and it won't happen. And that's why I say, you know, we just sit here and we just like, for real, for real, girl, you, mm -mm, you, for, you getting ready to try to do this, okay? A gardening show, you're going to be selling the baked goods and cooking and jams. Oh, okay. Let's see what you're going to do. Because as soon as she does it, we're going to be down here giving our review, me and Otis here. We're going to be sitting here listening, talking and thinking, okay, what did she do wrong? Because every single thing she does will be scrutinized. Everything. And she will not be able to get any momentum against all the negativity that will continue to push her down because she's just not a nice person. Now, this is, you know, we've, you know, you just look at the content on my channel to see all the mishaps that Megan has had. And yet again, there's another mishap at this polo event that she went to where she was giving out this this trophy and just really showed you the kind of person she is. Let's just take a look. So as we can see, Megan is trying to tell people what to do. She didn't even want to allow Harry to stand next to this woman. She had to stand next to her, like dictating. And I want to know, well, why is she even there? You don't play polo. You have nothing to do with polo. And this woman is actually the chair of the, the charity that they're raising money on behalf of. Like Megan just sticks her foot up in front of everything because she is begging, plying to get to the top of this superstardom celebrity where she can be on top of the world as somebody that is loved and well celebrated and is super famous. But she'll never get there. She will always keep going further down and down into the abyss because she's not a nice person. I look at her and I watch and look at how she just snubbed that fake smile, what she's done to her own family, the people that I know and care about very much, how she's treated these people, her past friends, and the fact that this new documentary with or this new show with Netflix is going to focus around friendship. Are you serious? You're going to focus around friendship. The one person that can't even keep a friend for five minutes. You're going to talk about friends. It's like you are putting together a show that is going to be so nauseating and fake that you're not going to be able to convince anybody that you even have a, 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 a inkling of positive. I want to be your friend kind of a person that so, so that people can feel your warmth. It won't be there because you're a nasty not nice kind of a person and people can people can jive into that we can feel it you look at what has happened to someone with talent someone that has been in the industry for a very long time and you see how the downfall of these very public talented well-recognized stars are you see them get the backlash that they're getting when they have these these projects that go nowhere and then who they are becomes exposed. And that's what's happening to J-Lo in real time. And if it can happen to someone like a J-Lo, it is going to be Megan's future that she's working towards. All Megan is doing as we speak is she's working towards being criticized. She's working towards the, the criticism. She's working towards the end of her marriage because there's all these stories about Harry and wanting to go back and the children and you can't hide that normal human being uh, behavior for what you know and what you're familiar with. And so Harry in real time is being he's being silence by Megan. So, so, so that's not going to work. I won't get into it, but that's just not going to work that whole marriage. Megan is trying to be this super successful uh, celebrity who's creating her own products and money and having all these opportunities to sustain this very rich, uber rich lifestyle. It won't work because she'll never get the whole public, the majority of the public behind her that will fall for the okie doke. She won't get the, the majority of the people to support her because the suppression of the people who are keeping it real, the people who are keeping it real are speaking out. We have a voice 
And this is why Harry and Meghan are trying to get rid of our voices. They're trying to suppress what we say. They're trying to make it so that we can't say the things that we are saying because they know their celebrity depends on it, which means their livelihood. And they know they cannot keep doing what they're doing with us speaking and holding them down. So if it can happen to a J-Lo, which we're, we are seeing it happen, and they're saying that the Kardashians are next. They're also seeing a lot of uh, hip hop artists. Uh, we can see what's happening to P. Diddy right now. There are a lot of people, these celebrities with these big egos, not all the celebrities, because some of the celebrities that are doing well, like uh, Mariah Carey, she's very diva. But hey, look, Mariah got skills. We already, Mariah makes fun of herself and her, her, her diva like character. You know, she can make it light where people can like her and relate to her, you know, but. People like a Megan who got a stick up her butt, you know, mm, what you saying about me? Mm, what you saying about me? I don't like you. You know, you're making fun of me. I'm going to sue you. Like someone like a Megan who has that kind of mindset around it, she won't get far. So what Megan is doing, everything she does will get her to the point where she's going further and further, further down the abyss, where she'll never get to where she's trying to get. She won't. It is happening to J-Lo right now as we speak. Everything she does will be the outcome of what has happened to J-Lo in this moment in time. So what you gonna do? <laughs> get your popcorn, y'all. Get your popcorn because we are seeing the continual downfall of Meghan Markle and her brand and all the things she is doing and she deserves it because she's a nasty, not nice kind of a person. We know the stories and if you don't, go watch some of my videos. You'll know. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about.